become a member. Sign in and start streaming today. It is now time for our favorite part of the show, uh, Disgrace of the Week. As always, Ms. Calhoun, please start us off. We'll return to the great outdoors where David Lesh, who is a recreational entrepreneur gonzo guy, has already gone into Hanging Lake where he wasn't supposed to be, and now is all over the media for using Maroon Bells as his outdoor, well, outhouse. So he has a date in court <laughs> on October 30th. Let's take the outdoors seriously from forest fires to just cleaning up after yourself. Here, here, as a big fan of Maroon Lake, that, uh, that's a lot of ways to offend people, but come on, man. David. Noel Middle School in Denver is named for one of Denver's uh, great civil rights leaders. It is the highest performing middle school in the Denver public school system. It's a high po has a high poverty student population. Uh, its students are about more, over 90% black or Hispanic, and they're, they're doing great uh, with not only the test scores, but with individual counseling, lots of careful attention. And so they want to expand and create a high school uh, based on this very successful middle school model. And the Denver public schools, which is run for the benefit of the bureaucracy and the union and not for the benefit of students is delaying it, slow walking it, saying, oh, maybe you'll, you, you can open in 2022. But what about those eighth graders who are graduating this year and are ready to go to continue uh, the outstanding education provided by the Knoll system? Eric, we go to you for your disgrace of the week. Well, we obviously did not coordinate beforehand because my disgrace is exactly the same and almost word for word as what David just said. In term, I've commented before that Denver Public Schools has seemed lost for the last many, many months in terms of its COVID response and how, if at all, it's going to get most of these schools reopened. But now, very specifically, they had a proposal in front of them, a reasonable proposal from, I mean, as David pointed out, uh, Noel Middle School, DSST Noel, is the top performing middle school in the whole district. There was an implicit promise to those parents and those kids that they would be able to transition from eighth grade in middle school to ninth grade at a DSST Noel High School. That promise has been broken. They have, and, and the district is not giving them any other reasonable quality alternative. Shame on, shame on DPS. Penn, we go to you for your disgrace of the week. Uh, it, it would be campaign advertisements generally. The, uh, I think they're probably more over the top this year than, than any cycle I can remember. Um, clearly illustrating the need for us to change how we finance campaigns generally, as I talked about earlier. But I was really taken aback to see the campaign ad by Cory Garner invoking John F. Kennedy. That, that seemed to, to go a bit um, too far. It's certainly reaching across the island in a unique way. With two minutes left, we have to say something nice. Patty. The cultural institutions in Colorado, which are suffering, like everyone else from COVID, but more than so many, and they're trying to keep us entertained, keep us educated. You have the Denver Film Festival, which has just started yesterday, has gone virtual, largely, except for a few outdoor things at Red Rocks doing their best. And the Denver Art Museum, we've got the great Frida Kahlo, Diego Rivero Mexican Modernism show opening on Sunday. Go see it in a safe way. David. All the serious, responsible citizens in Colorado who are taking the time to, to vote intelligently and accurately and, and know what they're doing. And some of those people have already voted. Uh, but if you haven't voted all, already, Take the time to not only just maybe already know what you think about the president, take the time to learn about all of the issues on your ballot. There are plenty of voter guides around. The Independence Institute has one on state issues. Lots of other folks have, have their guides. Be a well-informed citizen so you, your vote can truly count in a good way. Eric. A very quick twofer. First, to all of those who've been evacuated by these fires, uh, we're fortunate among them. We have a house in Denver to come to. It was not a required evacuation on our part, but to all who are in the way of this mammoth fire and other fires around the state and to the firefighters and first responders who are fighting them. Secondly, Penfield Tate, my friend who will come next, his father was the longtime former mayor of Boulder, Colorado, and the municipal building in Boulder is being named in honor of his father, Penfield Tate. Here, here. And Penn, you're up next. We're saying something nice. Well, Eric sort of stole it from me. I was going to thank the city of Boulder and thank them for acknowledging uh, my dad. Also, I want to give a shout out to the artist Detour 
or beautiful mural he painted of my dad on the side of the Boulder Public Library. It's wonderful. It's nice to see him remembered in that fashion. Here, here, uh, and I want to give a quick shout out for the Highlands Ranch Herald. Just like uh, uh, David was talking about, they're a part of the Colorado Community Media. They broke down all the different local issues, and not just the, the large ones we talk about here, but county commissioner races and RTD director races. I had no excuse to be an uninformed voter, and thanks to this local paper, I was an informed voter. So thank you for everyone involved.